Centuries have passed since the first humans arrived on Caravania. Legends have been shared from one generation to the next explaining Caravania's most exotic and rare mysteries, the Soul Crystals. Legend has it that the souls of the planet's original inhabitants were so pure that after death they were preserved as mesmerizing and powerful crystals. Simply holding a soul crystal, one could feel the essence of life radiating from deep inside. It wasn't long after the discovery of the soul crystal's power that humans used them to build and activate towering golems. After many forgotten centuries, those pure souls were able to breathe life once again. In Century Golem Edition, players serve as traders attempting to collect crystals to create the most ornate and powerful of golems. Welcome to my review of Century Golem Edition. Hey everyone, this is Herthagas and today I'm bringing you my review of the wonderful game Century Golem Edition. But before I explain the rules of the game, let me guide you through the setup first. First, you shovel the point cards with the golem back to form the top deck, then draw 5 cards and place them face up in a row to the left of it. Then you place a pile of copper tokens equal to the number of players times 2 above the first point card and a pile of silver tokens equal to the number of players times 2 above the second point card. In a 2 player game, you'd place 4 coins above each of the 2 cards. Among the merchant cards with the crystal back, there are 10 cards with a purple border on the face up side. These are the starting cards. Each player receives one of each different type of card. Any remaining starting cards are returned to the game box. Shuffle the remaining merchant cards to form the second deck. Draw 6 cards and place them face up in a row to the left of it. Place the diamond shaped bowls with the crystals to the left of the card rows in the following order. Magenta crystals go to the top and below you place the turquoise, green and yellow crystals. Each player receives a random caravan card with the brown back. Make sure to include the card with the first player symbol on it. The players then place the caravan card in front of them. Each player also receives a specific amount of crystals. The first player gets 3 yellow crystals, the second player 4 yellow crystals, the third player 4 yellow crystals too, the fourth player receives 3 yellow crystals as well as 1 green crystal, and the fifth player also gets 3 yellow crystals as well as 1 green crystal. This is how the play area should now look. And you're ready to start the game. The player with the first player caravan begins the game. In a turn, players can perform one of the following actions. Play a card from their hand, acquire a merchant card, rest and take back all played cards, or claim a point card. Let me briefly outline all these actions. To play a card from your hand, place the card face up in front of you and execute the card's effect. There are three types of merchant cards that can be played in this way. When playing a crystal card, take the number and color of crystals shown at the top left from the respective diamond shaped bowls and place them on your caravan. When playing an upgrade 2 card, you may upgrade a crystal on your caravan 1 level and then upgrade a crystal 1 level again. It is not mandatory to upgrade all crystals from an upgrade card. When playing a trade card, return the number and color of crystals shown above the arrow at the top left from your caravan to the diamond shaped bowls. Then take the number and color of crystals shown below the arrow from the bowls and add them to your caravan. A trade can be done any number of times in a row as long as you have the appropriate crystals available. The second action a player can choose is acquiring a merchant card. To acquire a merchant card, first pay for it by playing any crystals from your caravan on each merchant card to the left of the card you are acquiring and then take that merchant card directly into your hand. Of course, when acquiring the leftmost merchant card, no crystals are placed and the card can be taken for free. A player can also choose to rest on their turn. To rest, take all of the cards you played face up in front of you back into your hand. This is where the hand building and engine building mechanisms come into play. Last but not least, you can also claim a point card. To do so, you must have all of the crystals shown on the point card in your caravan. Return those crystals to the diamond shaped bowls. Take the point card and place it face down in front of you. After having claimed the point card, fill the empty slot by sliding the card to the left, creating an empty slot just to the left of the point deck. Then draw a card from the deck to fill that empty slot. One thing to note, if you claim the leftmost or second leftmost point card, take one copper or silver token from above that card. If you take the last copper token, slide the pile of silver tokens to the left, so that it is now above the leftmost point card. When all copper and silver coins have been taken, no more coins will be rewarded to players reclaiming one of the two leftmost cards. The game end is triggered as soon as a player has taken their fifth point card or the sixth in a 2 to 3 player game. The current round will be finished before the game ends. Then each player counts all the points on their point cards, their copper and silver tokens, as well as the remaining crosses on their caravan. Each copper token is worth 3 points, each silver token is worth 1 point. Each non-yellow crystal is worth 1 point also. Yellow crystals don't award the players with any points. The player with the most points wins. 
If there's a tie, the last player to take a turn wins the tie. Two more things regarding limits. First regarding the caravan limit. A player's caravan can hold up to 10 crystals. At the end of a player's turn, if that player has more than 10 crystals on that caravan, they must return the exceeding crystals of their choice to the diamond shaped bolts. The crystal supply is not limited on the other hand. If a supply is exhausted, use a substitute material. Candy works very well here. Finally, a game component that is edible. Fruit also works. And that's how you play Century Golem Edition. So, do I like the game? You bet I do. A lot. The game is so beautiful. The crystals are really chunky, the metal coins have a great design and the art is just gorgeous. This is a very beautiful game. Also, the game is incredibly simple. You have four actions and you need to claim a specific number of golems. That's it. Look at the rules. They fit on one page, even if double-sided. The game is quick to set up, teach and tear down. Even the game length isn't too long. A great game that you can even play when you're a bit exhausted from work. It challenges your brain, but it doesn't fry it. It's not too much to be overwhelming. The game supports up to five players. Yeah, this does not sound like much, but there are so many great games that only support a maximum of four players. It's great that this game goes beyond that. The only complaint I have is that there is no player aid. Sure, the actions are simple and easy to memorize, but first time players will greatly benefit from that. Then again, the rules are so compact that you can just look at the actions down here. Apart from that, there are no negatives I can mention. The game is very accessible, plays up to 5 players, is simple yet tactically challenging and has beautiful artwork. Would I recommend the game to you? Yes and no. It is a great game, I highly recommend you play, but the game is not the cheapest and often it is quite hard to get, especially in specific countries. This often leads to even higher prices. So I would suggest you keep an eye out for a good offer before you acquire it. If you're still watching, thank you very much for doing so, this means so much to me. And if you liked this video, why don't you let me know by liking or commenting. And also make sure to check out my channel, I have lots more board gaming videos you might enjoy. Alright, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you on the channel. Take care and cheers. Thank you.